as a writer, I tend to be very straightforward. Like when I'm writing journalism, I'm pretty neurotic about where things are, kind of spatially. Like I know where something begins and ends. And as I was working on this book, there were a lot of times when I just, I mean, it sounds so weird, but actually it doesn't sound weird at all. It's something that writers say all the time, but I, w I wasn't conscious of what I was doing. You know, I was just sort of processing and just um, sort of being inspired by these pictures I put up on the wall. Um, but the whole idea of being more forward looking, you know, understanding that you need to have you need to look towards the future. You need to understand what tomorrow can bring as a way of making sense of the present. It's not something that I really understood when I was younger. I think in the immediate aftermath of, of things that happened, like I was very much stuck in the past. And for many years, I would just sit there on certain days of the year at certain times and just write about the past and try and render in sort of as precise detail as I could what you know, the, the, like a flesh tone, you know, or a smell or um, kind of what it was like to like unwrap a burrito, you know, things, things that were very much rooted in these moments in the past. But it wasn't until I think fairly recently, honestly, that I, I understood that none of these things, these things need to become something else. Like I need to turn them into um, some sense of a future I would want or, um, an ethos that I could bring into my life to share with other people, you know, whether it was just becoming a better friend or, um, I don't know, becoming a more conscious person.